Kelly Clarkson wants you to know her new album is more than just a summer account of her divorce. Kelly Clarkson claims that although you would believe it, Chemistry, her most recent album, is about more than just her highly publicized divorce. She is who, since winning the inaugural season of American Idol in 2002, Grammy-winning, chart-topping singer and talk show host Kelly Clarkson has sold millions of CDs. With more than 12 million copies sold worldwide, her second studio album Breakaway, which included the pop-rock breakup ballad Since You've Been Gone and Behind These Hazel Eyes, is one of the best-selling albums of the 21st century. She filed for divorce from her husband Brandon Blackstock in June 2020 after nearly seven years of marriage. Clarkson's divorce was finally finalized in March 2022 after a protracted two-year legal fight. River Rose and Remington Alexander, their two children, were given to her as her primary custody. Clarkson tackles the emotional roller coaster she experienced throughout her relationship with Blackstock on Chemistry, her 10th studio album. I see why people could say that because, as is evident, I am divorced at this point and haven't had any music since. It then makes you wonder, oh, what is she going to say? With any artists we adore, we are all guilty of doing that. And regrettably, a lot of music that is extremely relatable emerges from sorrow and sad situations. By no means am I insulted by it, but it was crucial for me to understand the complete picture of a relationship, not simply its drawbacks. It's because you only see what happened in the final moments and don't realize it wasn't how it was throughout. There were some lovely moments, like when I thought, how fortunate I am to have felt that, to have in other words, favorite kind of high is more about the passionate, heady phase of a relationship. There is magic, in which you feel as though you are battling, but you are in love with a magical person. There is a certain type of chemistry that results in holding onto things that are perhaps detrimental for you. The record is all of these different kinds of chemistry which you can sense in either a good or bad manner. I sort of estimated the tracks that would go on the CD based on what was already available without my having any control over it. There was simply so much information that was made public without anyone involved in the matter speaking up, whether it be through court records or what believed they knew. This is okay because everything has previously been spoken, I kind of judged how I felt at the time. I can at least do an honest and vulnerable exploration of this now.